Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is me Bhargavi Rao and today I am going to talk about some of the important topics above written the legal purview. What if you accidentally receive the money to your bank account or worst, you accidentally sent to a wrong bank account. So what are the legal implications for both the situations I am going to discuss. So first one, let's discuss what if you accidentally sent money to somebody. So many times what happens that either by wrong keying or somebody has given you a wrong bank account or it is a human error that people sometimes might put wrong bank account numbers, that's normal. But the problem is when the money gets transferred and then you realize it and now we have to get the money back. Okay. So many a times what happens, whatever the wrong bank account which you keyed in, may not be existent. So it's a non-existent bank account. It's just a dummy bank account which the, the bank has. So what you have to do is you have to immediately call your bank. Immediately call your bank and explain what, uh, what happened with you and um, why you accidentally transferred the money and is there any way of reversal. Okay, If it is the same bank and if it's a different bank account number, the bank will oblige that and it will immediately do the reversal. But if the bank account number is within some other bank, then you have to approach that bank manager and, um, and before that you have to approach your bank manager to get the details of that account number. That where is that, where is that account in? Which bank account it is in? You have to go and visit that bank, bank manager and you have to make a written application that uh, so and so mistake happened and you need the reversal of the funds. But the main problem happens when the recipient of that amount is non-cooperative because the bank does not have the authority to reverse the amount without the approval of the other person. Okay? So because of that many people run into what we call legal issues. So now coming to the third and last resort is that you have to approach the recipient legally. Well, to, when you uh, when you are approaching that to the recipient in legal purview, you have to understand what are the legal implications from it. You might think that I accidentally keyed the wrong uh, number, so it's my fault. So I may or may not get the amount. Or the other person might make you feel like you did a mistake, and I'm returning you the amount. I'm doing a favor. Both of them is wrong. Why? Let me tell you. As per our Indian law. If any amount is received without, if that we call it as consideration, you are getting any consideration without any uh, valid reasons. So it's not for the work done or it's not for any purposes. You are just getting the money. Then it's your moral duty to make sure that you return that amount because it's not yours. And if you accidentally spend it, if you accidentally spend that amount which you get. Uh, to your bank account which you are not author authorized to get then that is called theft it's stealing so this is actually a criminal offense so just because you get some money it doesn't mean that you have the right to spend it because if you are not authorized to receive it in the first place so now next um, some people might say that hey you sent the money but I spent it actually I already spent it I don't have the money so now what to do? That will be a legal case, a valid legal case which you need to fight in the court of law. Why? Because just because you spent the money which I sent, it doesn't mean that you cannot return the money. You have to earn it and then you have to return the money to me. It may be through installments and a valid interest can be charged on it. Just not like free or something. It's just like a loan. Like you have given the loan to the person and they have to repay it. So there is no way the person can say that I spent it so I cannot give you back. So that is your rights, legal rights as a accidental transferer. Now let's come to accidental money receiver. So suddenly I open the bank account and I am like, voila, I have got a lot of money. Somebody sent me that money. Let's go shopping. Well, no, it doesn't happen that way. It is much more dangerous than you think, this situation. 
you have to understand this first things first because you got the money which you are not authorized to get it's your moral obligation to intimate the bank saying that hey this is this money i got it accidentally uh, can you please check can you please see if uh, from where the money is coming from and did they send it to me accidentally so that's your moral duty moral obligation actually and second thing second if for example you received some amount of money and you spent it and nobody asked about it you're very happy nobody wants that they just send me the money i'm happy well you might be in a bigger trouble than you think because many a times what happens whenever this terrorist activities go on they'll be looking for the scapegoats whom people can blame on so that they can escape so what they do is they accidentally make you look like you are the party for the illegal activities how do they do it by transferring these kinds of money to your bank account because next in the future maybe after 7 years or 10 years or something when there's a big case which is going on and when they take out the bank records then they will you will also be summoned to the court to explain why did you receive this amount from this person you know that that person is doing illegal activities maybe selling drugs or something and you paid the money and he i mean uh, you received the money from him please tell me why you received the money and that time you cannot say that i just received the money and i am very happy i just spent it no that's not a valid grounds at all you cannot use that uh, that uh, clause because it's as a uh, duty bound citizen you have to make sure that you are returning that amount that is that second thing is many cases what happens is people receive foreign funds foreign funds to their bank account that's much more dangerous than you can think because if you are getting stuck in an international case where the laws are much more murkier believe me it's much more difficult it's very difficult to get away from those so just because you are getting some funds from somewhere as as like free it's it's not wise a decision for you to spend then you might say that there might be many cases where people have gotten away with it but yes they have gotten away with it with a lot of difficulty so i am actually saying that i'm not saying that legally whether the case can be proved or disproved i'm not saying that i'm saying the avoidance of getting into the legal hassles can be done by taking certain steps as a duty bound citizen so if you are transferred the money to someone someone by accident they cannot retain it that is the law so you have to know it and second thing if you have received any money from anywhere you also don't have the authority to spend on it because this is not a legal legally justified consideration which you are getting then in the future you might be getting into a far more worse legal troubles where you have to prove why you received the money and if you received the money also why did you not report about it and also why did you spend it and uh, you cannot disprove the association with the person who is sending i hope i'm clear with this aspects and i know it sounds fun like a fantasy like you are getting a lot of money and you're becoming rich but it comes with its own price and this is the baggage what you have to carry i hope today i have talked something very important and i hope uh, you understood this concept and uh, if you have any thoughts any uh, feedback please use the comments box below and also i'm uh, giving a lot of inputs in the description box make sure you read it and uh, because in the videos it's very simple i don't want to complicate in, in my videos because i want every single person every citizen to understand the legal implications of certain uh, activities which are going on but the description box is much more detailed and it has far more inferences and uh, far more descript it is more descriptive in nature sorry descriptive in nature so make sure you read it and understand it thank you